Hello friends, Fox Bandy here. Today I'm going to share with you how I made my window covers for my car so that when I go camping, I can have the window covers in there. They cut, serve a whole lot of purposes, actually. It keeps the sun loud, light out. It's no, so not so bright inside in the daytime when the sun is bright. It keeps the moisture and cold out at night. It insulates your car to keep it a little bit warmer at night and cooler in the daytime. They can be decorative if you have colorful insides, then it will be like decorating your little room. <laughs> so in a car, there's not a lot of places to put cute things, nothing to hang things on and no walls and things like that. So I think color is a great thing. It's also a security uh, service because when people walk by your car, they cannot see you inside of it by having the good window covers with black outside. So it's more look like um, shaded windows or tinted windows. So all they see is what dark windows. So I think they, they serve a great purpose to have these. It also helps with protecting your stuff. If somebody walks by in the daytime, and they see your stuff in the car, they know that you're not there and that you, they don't see you in there. So, and at night, they don't know, know if somebody's in there, so they're less likely to break in to the car. So I think that's good. So you can protect your belongings. If you have to leave with a friend and go to the store or something, or go for a half day or a few hours, whatever, so I think that's good. And for Maxi, it was also protection for him. So when I have to leave him in the car, it's cooler. And I can leave the fans on him. And the windows cracked a little bit, but it still doesn't look like anybody's in there. He's not a yapper, so he doesn't bark when people go by. So they don't even know he's there, really. But I don't leave him in the car very often, very seldom, unless it's really cool. But it's a protection for him, too. So what I have did is cut a piece of reflex that's a little bit bigger than the window. I'll just set it up there and cut it round. Then I took this here and pressed it into the framework. Very tight. I had a little bit of lightweight uh, fabric uh, sticky stuff to do hems and I set it on the back of that. So I took the pen and marked it right to the edge, right all the way around, all the way around from the top, see, all the way down. Then I'll cut it just outside of that line. Do the same thing for the other side and for the back window. Then I'm going to put fabric on the inside first and then the outside so I can put a border and look nice. This will give me insulation for the window. It will block the sun when I want shade to keep the heat out. Keep the heat out of, of the car when I'm having to be inside, especially in the daytime when it's really hot. At night, it will be cause a what I call an invisible black screen, like sunshade, so nobody can see inside. And it'll fit right inside the window, so don't even have to secure it with other securing things, because the framework is about an inch deep inside there, all the way around. Even on the top, you can see that. have plenty of room to press it in. So I think that's going to work out beautifully. And I think that's exactly the right side, just outside the line when I cut it. Let's hope it'll work. The wind's blowing a little bit, but as you can see, that's perfect fit. With this corner, that's a little bit shallow. And I'll probably pull it over a little bit.
doesn't matter once I put a little bit of fabric on it it'll fill that little tiny edge the rest of it is perfect it'll block everything I want it to do just to stand back and show you that's what I'm trying to do okay it's perfect these are the black cut curtains that I bought at Dollar General for $15 for run one rock pocket which is 40 inch by 84 inch. So I said it's thermally insulated and blackout. So so the thing is to find fabric like this at the fabric store is very expensive and actually almost impossible to find. This is the inside. It sees. It, you can see it has a shiny side. This is what it looks like on the outside. It's very thick, and it has, has a good thick backing on there. So, this is what I'm going to use for the outside of my window covers. I'll just cut it down to the sizes that I need. So I bought this fabric tape. tape on Amazon. It wasn't too expensive. I don't really remember how much it was. But it's sticky on both sides. So it looks like a piece of plastic strip. You can see here on this here what it looks like after it's applied. It's very sticky. And it holds whatever you need to put on it. Of course in the heat I don't know how well it will hold up but once it's wrapped around completely I think it will be fine. Because it'll be completely covered with the fabric that I'm putting on this side. So I think that'll be fine. Um, so what you need to do this job is scissors. This, some kind of a tape or something to hold the fabric and the panels. When you're measuring on the windows, you need something to hold the panels up. So it doesn't slide around while you're tracing the lines. You, I can I use um, the black fabric. Have it, this is my inside fabric. It's really pretty. And this is the outside fabric. Okay, I'm going to try to cut. Let's see if, I can, if you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to try to cut right along this line that I drew with my pen. It's not really real visible, but it's a little bit. So just outside the line, and hope it'll work. So there's that one. On this side, I didn't have to cut too much. The mark is pretty good. So if, you, if you can see this here, you can almost see the line. Yeah, I'm using my kitchen scissors. No wonder I have to keep replacing them. But that's what it, it is. It is the way it is. Because I don't want to use my sewing scissors. We'll get out and test it out. So let's see what we got here. So this is cut. And I hope that you can see I left a little tiny bit from the line. Not too much. You can almost see the line there. So let's try this out. So here I'm laying the fabric out on my bed. I'm working on the bed so it'll be interesting. So this is what I've done so far. You can see the other side, the uh, reflective side of it. I took this fabric, cut it extra around this pattern, the, around the reflectors, allowed one and a half inches for a, a hem. Then I took it off uh, and put it, this on top of it so that at right side it would be on this side. So then I set this on top of it and I take uh, this tape I showed you and I put it all the way around, left the paper on it all the way around. 
and then once I did that I took sections of the paper off so it could get these folded over so I fold it over and it's glued on there I think it's pretty straight sturdy it doesn't really want to lift at all so I think it'll be great so I turned this over you this is the way that it can look because this good part is going to be on this side so this one is for the other window I have to make sure I did this right so uh, that's correct so I just have to turn all of this over every bit of it and then turn it over to this way so the good side is where I should have it and I'm going to glue this right to this fabric this here like this I know. Let's, so let's put this tape on here. So look how easy this is to work with. What I'm going to do is put a piece of tape across that section right there. You can see, yeah. So I'm just going to take this right here. Take it all the way to the corner of this. And then spread it. And put it down here. I would like to press it as I go because be a problem. Hang on. I don't want to get it in the wrong spot. I want to get it right to the edge because I don't want to have too much hemp. So there is. I think that's going to work right there. I'm going to just tear it here in the corner. All figured out. I will get it figured out. Usually if I get it to stick to my finger it will be works really well. So here we go. This is coming off. So what you can see, the tape is left behind here. So I was going to edit this part out. I thought I'd show you what I do when I make a mistake. So I don't want this glue visible, that's a fabric tape visible. So what I did is peel this back again. And what I have to do is kind of push it like this and roll it. And it'll, then it'll come pretty much peel right off. All the way. So this is a little trick. Because sometimes if you could try to pull it like normal stuff, it won't peel. But this works pretty good. So this will peel off so it won't have the, the tape so visible. So the last thing I want to do here is staple this all the way across, all the way around, staple it. And then to cover the staples, I use a black tape with very straight all the way across, uh, just to cover the staples so I don't want to see them. But it's coming out pretty good. You can see the whole thing there. So there's my window cover. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this instructional video of how to make window covers for your vehicle. You know me, I always show my mistakes. This is a real deal. <laughs> Anyhow, if you're interested in supporting my channel, do have I do have memberships. I also have links in the description below the video, so check them out. Thank you so much for coming. You know, God is love, and if we emulate God with loving everyone, that's the key to happiness. I truly believe that, and I thank God every day. I have so much love for and from people. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.